call it Virginia, and there's a reason for it. It actually came from Virginia. All my cars have names that relate to the place where I purchased them from. One thing that makes Virginia a little bit more part of the family is because it didn't come as is. We actually, little by little, we build it like that. Every, every sticker on it, every ding on it, there, there's a story to it. A good buddy of mine, Derek, and I were sitting in a bar one night talking about cars and uh, we're talking about like Cobra's uh, replicas and so we're talking about how much fun you can have these days with so little money. So uh, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, wait a minute, for that price I can get myself into a 911. And then I realized that there's never a good time to buy a dream car, so I decided to do it anyway. So uh, a few months later, I find my first car, I bought my first car, and I go meet him at the same pub. So I'm like, hey. Let me show you something. Six months later, he's looking for cars and he's buying a 911. <laughs> Derek and I would just do Mahalat from one end to another every single Sunday and our little group grew from the two of us to about 20 cars in a matter of like, I want to say five months. So we've been doing those runs for five months every Sunday at the same time and it was just a blast. I think if you look at the past of Virginia, the past four years, how little by little it got improved with one purpose in mind, which is Targa Baja, Mexico, I can see this going for ever. Uh, I can see it being used and abused every year, then come back, being absolutely taken care of, and then go be used and abused again. One thing that was really cool about Virginia is that uh, the ad on eBay was only three lines. And all he said is, uh, it's truck ready, a roll cage, um, it's got some 3.6 cams, and that's it. That's all it was advertised. Little did I know what the motor has been just rebuilt. It's probably a three point something, dyno about 250 horses, well at the time it was built. 
So significant work has been done to the motor and it shows it. I, I was not very happy with the pearl color. So started adding up a little bit of colors. Then that started looking better, getting new wheels, bigger wheels. Um, and within a year, I took it to Targa, California. I think that was 2013. And that was its first shakedown. Uh, the car did really well, but it needed some suspension work. Um, so basically ever since then, it's done five Targa Californias and five Targa Baja Mexico and every year it comes back something gets added to it tires and windshield gets changed once a year um, uh, suspension work has been done but nothing on the motor the motor hasn't been opened so I kind of like this idea that I have the mystery motor I have no idea who built it but they did an excellent job so since I'm not a master mechanic or anything, I'm not even gonna try to get in there and try to fix it. I got a really good mechanic, takes really good care of it. Uh, the only thing that I do is I drive it and I notice things and I try to fix things that I can. So little by little over the year, a lot of uh, aero help has been added to it with the uh, uh, help my aero buddies from work. But there's still little, little aero improvements that could be made and uh, they happen every year. One thing that's fun uh, about it is that although when I met my wife, she wasn't a necessarily a car person. She liked cars, but she wasn't a car person. But um, we've been together for 14 years now, and little by little, she started adopting my passion for for cars as I adopted her passion for animals and horses. And and we look uh, we look at Virginia right now. It's almost like part of the family. Like it's she she loves uh, she actually loves driving the car. Believe it or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. 